Hello everyone, in this week double exposure we're gonna see how to create this really cool image of this elephant in here using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's uh, jump to Photoshop. And then we're gonna create a new document like we usually do. So let's go to File, New. And I will put 1924 the width, 1080 for the height, 72 in the resolution, and RGB in the color mode. And I will press OK. Now we're gonna change the background layer. We're gonna replace it with a solid color. So let's go to Adjustments and choose Solid Color. And I will keep uh, the color to this soft gray, and I will press OK. And let's delete this background layer. Alright, now let's go and open the file that we're gonna use. As you can see, this is our base image, the elephant, and we're gonna use these trees as you can see in here as a double exposure for the elephants and some birds in here. All right, so let's go and open the elephant image. I'm just gonna drag it and open it in here so it will open in a new tab. And then we're gonna extract elephant from the image or from the background. So let's go to select and choose subject now right, as you can see we have our selection but uh, let's see if we have some places that we need to fix as you can see i can see this place is not selected so let's go and jump to the quick selection tool and i will make sure that uh, the selection is set to minus in here because we, not, we, we want to remove this selection so i'm just gonna brush with my selection like this and then I will go back and choose this plus because I want to add this part to the selection or you know you can press shift on your keyboard because we have it on the minus if I press shift it will change to plus for the selection as you can see all right then I will remove this part in here all right, I think this this is good it will work and I will just apply a layer mask on top of the selection so it will hide the background. All right, now I will uh, switch back to my move tool by pressing V on my keyboard. And then I will take this elephant and drag it to the other tab, not the other room, the other tab. All right, now I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command T. And I will zoom out a little bit. And I will make it smaller so it will fit with the canvas. All right, so I want it to be in a decent size, as you can see. It won't be that large or, or small. So I think this should work. All right, let's make it a little bit smaller. And I will try to make it in the center. All right, something like that, it should be good. All right, now I want to review a little bit of uh, the ground of the elephant. As you can see, if I press shift on my keyboard and one click on the layer mask that we have in here, I can reveal the background of the elephant. As you can see, I want this part, a little bit of this part of the ground to be visible on our canvas. So what I'm going to do is to duplicate this elephant image by pressing Ctrl or Command J. This will create a copy. And then I will hide this first copy that we have in here. Now let's name it to elephant. And then I will hide it and then I will name this to ground. All right. And then I will select the layer mask and then I will fill it with black. So let's go to edit and choose fill. And then I will uh, change the content to black and I will press OK and as you can see this will fill it with black alright now we'll grab a brush uh, let me make the opacity to 50% alright well you know let's reveal this elephant layer that we have in here so we can see exactly where where to brush as you can see we have two copies the copy of the ground is the one the one that we want to only reveal the ground in here 
so let's brush this part with a very soft brush but make sure that your foreground color is set to white and then let's brush a little bit in here as you can see all right let's brush more and we can always go back and delete all the areas that we don't want to use all right now i can switch uh, the foreground color to black again and then i will just delete in the edges so i will blend the ground with the, with the image or uh, with the color that we have from the background nothing fancy just a little bit of brushing all right i think this should work as you can see it looks nice all right now let's uh, go and open our other image that we're gonna use as a double exposure which is this one so let's go directly and open it in this tab all right and let's press enter now we'll change the blending mode of it as as you know to lighten all right now i will press ctrl or command t and then i will try to place the image to where i want it so i want it to actually i want this part to be in here if you can see this is much bigger it will show the, the head of the elephant so let's uh, right click and choose flip horizontal and this will fix our problem as you can see all right and i also like this kind of uh, trees going from the legs of uh, the elephants as you can see it's had a very nice story of course we're gonna hide some parts of this i'm not gonna keep it like this for all of it but let's just for now choose a, a replacement for our image Alright, so I think this looks good. So let's press enter. And then I will uh, apply a layer mask on this. So let's go and one click on this layer mask. And I'm gonna remove some parts that I don't want from this image as you can see. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm selecting the layer mask in here and also the opacity. I will make it a little bit higher. 70% it should work. And I will delete all the, the details that I don't want to be shown on our elephants, as you can see. For example, I don't like this part in here. Also, I want some parts of the face to, or the head to be shown. Maybe the eyes a little bit in this part. All right, I think this looks good and this part too i will remove all this wood that we have and then maybe i will leave a little bit in this in this leg and maybe this one that's a little bit of details in here all right I think this looks good but I want to these uh, trees that we have in here I want them to complete or to show more as you can see if I change the blending mode to normal they're not showing as they show when they are normal so let's go back and change it to lighten uh, and uh, make a copy of this tree image that we have in here so let's press ctrl or command j and then i will uh, switch back the blending mode to normal and i will delete this uh, layer mask in here or i will fill it with black actually so let's go to edit and choose fill and i will uh, keep uh, the contents set to black and i will press ok and now we have it in uh, black as you can see the layer mask 
but you know I'm gonna change the blending mode to darken as you can see if I hide the layer mask it won't show the background of uh, the image you know the sky so let's keep it darken and then I will make sure that I'm selecting the layer mask and using white as my foreground color I'm gonna use the same brush and I will reveal all the details that I want to be shown on the top of the trees as you can see can even make it more greener if I want I'm gonna make a try to make a story in here so I want the trees to be more visible all right and I want this part to I want to hide it so let's go back to our first copy of the the trees and using the same brush but this time I'm gonna switch switch back to black as my foreground color that will just reveal from the elephants in here all the parts that I want them to be shown all right something like that all right so we're looking good and we're almost done so it's a very easy double exposure and it looks really cool with some details that we added all right now we know we're gonna add uh, the the birds and maybe we'll apply some adjustments to our images but let's add the birds first so let's go back to our contents in here that we're gonna use and let's start with this one so let's go and open it in the same document and I will press enter and this one I'm actually I'm gonna right click and choose rasterize layer so I'm gonna apply a black and white adjustment on it directly without using the smart object so let's press ctrl shift u so we're gonna desaturate it as you can see and then I will change the blending mode of it to darken again but as you can see it's not quite very blended with the, our image uh, we need to apply a level adjustment on it so we're gonna play with the tones a little bit so let's press ctrl or command l and then i'm gonna play with the, the white the points in here so let's add some white as you can see while i'm adding it it will uh, remove all this background in here so if we're gonna add a little bit of shadow for our birds too so let's uh, keep it six or seven and I will bring the white more to around 124 all right I think this this looks good and we can just delete this part in here and I will press ok all right so now I'm gonna press ctrl or command T and I will uh, resize our image maybe rotate this a little bit and I want to replace it somewhere around this part so look the birds is flying from there now right, I think this looks good all right and I will press enter now I'm gonna apply a, a layer mask on it so one click on this layer mask icon and again using the same brush I'm gonna delete all these details that I want to be shown on our image and let's make sure that I have all the details of the trees deleted and some of the birds in here that I don't want to be mixed with the trees that we have Alright, so I think I'm gonna bring down the opacity anyway for this birds. So let's bring it down to around 80%. Also, I'm gonna delete this part in here. Alright. As you can see, I have a little bit of shadow in here, so let's delete it. Alright, so I think this looks good. Now let's go and add the other birds that we have in here so let's go open it in the same document and I'll press enter and again I will right click and choose rasterize layer 
and again I will uh, apply the black and white adjustment so let's press ctrl or command shift U and this will desaturate everything for this image and then I'm gonna press ctrl or command T and I will make it smaller maybe I will replace it in here all right I think that's right here and I will press enter and uh, I will change the blending mode of it to darken and this will blend because we have white as our uh, background of this bird all right now I'm gonna switch back to my move tool and I will try to replace the birds to a place that they will merge with our image or let's press ctrl T or command T and maybe make them a little bit smaller something like that and I'll press enter again now right, I think this looks good maybe I will delete this one in here so let's apply a, a layer mask on this layer then again I will switch to my brush by pressing B on my keyboard and I will delete this one in here all right I think this uh, looks good so now we only need to apply some adjustment to our image and we'll be done and of course if you want to make everything black and white you can just apply a black and white adjustment on top of everything and this will make everything black and white if that's what you want but I like this green mix with the color of our elephants in here so let's delete this black and white and then let's go back to adjustments and I will apply a solid color as I usually do I like this kind of blending of uh, the colors so let's choose my favorite color for this which is the orange or the yellowish color I'm not really good with the names of the colors so let's just call it the orangish color all right I think this this would work and I will press ok all right now I'll change the blending mode of it to exclusion and then I will bring down the opacity to 10 percent and this will blend everything together as you can see even the background uh, it goes good with this one in here all right now I will go back to adjustments and this time I will choose levels and then I will go to the RGB channels in here and I will go for the blue and I will add a little bit of blue to our image by dragging this alpha black in here alpha channels the black or the shadow of the blue I will bring it more to around 12 and a little bit from the yellow part in here all right something like that and then I will go to red channel and I will add a little bit of red just a little bit all right and let's go to the green and I will add some greens as you can see this will bring the trees colors of the trees so I think I will go back to the red and I will just remove this one bring it back to zero and let's go back to the green all right let's put four in here let's play with magenta a little bit nice let's bring it a little bit up that's around here and let's go back to the RGB in here and I will just drag this slider from the shadow a little bit to add a little bit of shadows to our image around 12 also the whites just a little bit all right as you can see this will add a little bit of contrast to our image so I think I will bring down the opacity to around 70% or 75 and I will just keep it like that I think it looks good and that will be all Alright, so I hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know if you tried this, let me know on Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want. And have a nice day. Thank you for watching.